just wanting to kind of talk about the the whole move and how it's affected me. The pantry, it's so clean. I'm actually so happy. Like it makes me so happy when things are clean and organized. Something's happened, cancel my card, get rid of it, block it, do whatever you need to do, send me a new one. I've actually never relaxed my feet in this position. Morning. Welcome back to the vlog, the vloggy vlog. I have been quite sick lately. I have just caught a bug. I don't know if it's going round here or if my body's just not used to the germs, the pollen, like who knows. But I've been sick twice in the past like two months and it's rocked me like a real hearty, deep, like phlegmy, chesty cough. And I've had it for like a, over a week now and I really wanted to try and just kick it myself, get my immune system going, try to see if I could get through it without, you know, taking any antibiotics or anything. But your girl is struggling. So I'm gonna go to the doctors today. I'm gonna see what he says. I just wanna make sure it's nothing worse than what, like than just a normal cold. Today, I've got a little bit of work to do. We've gotta clean the house. We just had Steve's friend come and stay for a couple of days. Gotta clean the house just a little bit, just tidy up, maybe a vacuum, maybe because Steve's mum's coming to stay for a couple of days. And yeah, we've just got a busy week of work and organizing stuff and whatnot. So you guys are in for a treat for a lot of work stuff this vlog. I just had some breakfast. I actually had a massive break. I, again, because I've been sick, I haven't eaten anything. But this morning I had two pieces of toast with avocado, everything but the bagel seasoning and eggs, scrambled eggs. And then I had one piece of toast with Nutella and strawberries on top. And then I had one whole apple with some almond butter. Okay, so I went to the doctor's. He was like, you don't need antibiotics. I think it's just allergies so went and got all that stuff done went home got changed on my way to the gym driving figuring out where i'm gonna go i gotta grab some lunch we're gonna go to teriyaki madness just grab some takeaway go into the office because steve's mum and mum and stepdad are here so we've just been like it's crazy it's 3 30 right now i haven't had lunch and i'm just driving and then all of a sudden i lift up my drink drink and it spills all over my lap, all over my pants. And so I pull over on the side of the road, go and grab some clean freaks, they were really good. But I literally just leave them in my car for literally things like that, accidents or even just using them for the dog's paws when we go to the beach or when we go to the dog park. But then I'm literally like standing on the side of the road, getting those packs out of the boot and wiping my crutch down. And then I realized that what I was doing in front of all these people on the main road and I looked like I had Myself. Like I looked like I had myself and I was wiping away my So yeah, anyway, I need to go into the shop right now looking like I've myself. I need this to dry so I actually don't look like I've pissed myself because it's embarrassing. I'll see you in the office! Okay, finally in the office. This is a little office space. So we've got our board here. Two other whiteboards. Steve's office space desk. My office space desk. Our TV. Finally at the gym, gonna do some work. Got teriyaki madness for lunch. I'll show you what we get. Teriyaki chicken breast, the veggies, and just white rice, and they give us a teriyaki sauce. And that's it. I also didn't tell you guys, I didn't drop water on my crutch. I dropped Tropic, my Swig Tropic.
work and gym session done. Steven just locked me out of the office where my bag and my keys and everything is. Because we currently have this door that locks behind itself and I left my keys for that door upstairs thinking he wouldn't lock it because he knew I was here. So I had to go through the hairdresser's section and I felt so bad because he's working and doing things and I had to interrupt him. want to get that reaction. Sit. Stay. 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 Okay. Oh, I actually thought you were gonna beat it. I'm like, pressure makes him a winner. It's true. All right, beforehand, ready? Cut it down, baby. Three, two, one, let's go. Good morning, it's Tuesday. I just don't know, I don't know how people can be like that aesthetic. Oh yes, I fold all of my sports bras in my drawers. Like I cannot do that. I would never fold sports bras. They are like teeny tiny pieces of clothing. I just chuck them in. I'm not that gal. We're gonna pick out an outfit, a Gymshark outfit. I feel like I wanna wear these. What are we thinking? That's very pink. Three. Two, one. There we go. Dressed, ready, I've got some moisturizer. But you know what, before I go, I'm just gonna separate this because I can't stand, I can't stand this. Just got to the gym and I got a notification saying that someone is trying to use my Amex. Okay, it's been all fixed. It is a okay. I seriously thought someone had my card details. Don't know. That is done. I am going to go work out. I have an appointment at 12, so I literally have like, I'm gonna do probably a half hour workout so I can get to an appointment on time. 12 minutes away. So I'm gonna do a workout for 40 minutes and then head off. I'm actually heading in to go see my counselor, my therapist, my guy. Just wanting to kind of talk about the, the whole move and how it's affected me and how I can, I don't know, how I can work on it in a better way. Like there's sometimes where I'm feeling super overwhelmed and super upset with just situations and the changes and life changes and just kind of everything that then I take it out on Steve or I take it out on something else and it just isn't okay like I obviously am constantly working on how I manage my feelings and my emotions and my anger and like all that stuff but at the same time I also need to figure out how to deal with what's actually bothering me which right now is just feeling unease in the situation I'm in when I've just moved countries and it's just been a massive change and I'm going through this phase of meeting new friends and doing new things and having a different routine and waking up different times and going to bed different times, working out, trying to figure out where I am in the space of like my social media and what I want to do and what actually excites me and gets my soul like going and everything is up in the air and I can choose whether I want to move forward and become this bigger, better, happier, more sustained version of myself or if I want to kind of just go down this path that I've been down where each day looks different and I'm not really comfortable with where I'm at and I don't feel happy and I don't feel fulfilled so I'm gonna figure out what that is I'll see you guys soon I think it's only like an hour session so we'll see all done back in the car really good session I need to go home and put a few things in action so the first thing we spoke about 
is my morning routine. I feel like since moving to America, my morning routine has literally gone out the window. Like there is nothing that replicates what I used to do and what I did for the last 26 years of my life. I got to put some things in order and make sure that I am sticking with something that I feel makes me be the best version of myself that I can be. It makes me have time for myself in the morning to just relax, calm down, get ready for the day and kind of go from there. And then also spoke about obviously doing things that make me happy by myself. I've always been such an independent and I guess alone person. Like I really need my time alone as well as time with people. Implementing that a little bit more into my routine. And then also the food here. Like not generally what I'm eating, but just the food in general. I need to source out a local grocer who does produce and I want to find a good butcher that we can use for our food because the supermarkets here just don't cut it. Like I'm genuinely getting sick constantly and I feel like it's what I'm eating because I never eat a meal here. Even the ones that I've cooked, I never eat a meal here and I go, wow, that was so fresh and tasty and delicious. Even if it's my favorite meal in the world. I'm going to go home now and I'm going to clear out our fridge and freezer and pantry. So yeah, that is it. I'm gonna go home. I'm gonna go get some stuff. I need to order some stuff online. I am just about to go ham on my life to level it up. And I'm glad I'm actually vlogging this week because I feel like there's a lot happening. Yesterday was kind of chaotic. Today is transformative. I got home and I actually wasn't able to do, I'm gonna put you guys here. I wasn't actually able to do anything in regards to <coughs> organizing things until after a family lunch so we had a family lunch i actually left the family lunch in a rush i feel so bad for it but i had a call with my accountant who could only do a certain time today or like march 3rd afterwards so i was like i gotta go did that and now i am heading into walmart to do refrigerator organization things so we'll see how i go this is actually my first time to a walmart in america i have heard it's quite sketchy so um i don't know i don't know how to feel about it we'll see i will be taking everything that's valuable in my car i don't know how sketchy it is but i'll see you guys when i get back out okay I'm home. I didn't film unboxing the stuff. So I'm gonna show you what I've done. I got so many dishes to do, but at least I've done this. So organization, we've got bread, biscuits, whatever. We've got all of our cooking stuff. We were doing Marley and Spoon. Um, we won't be doing it anymore just because we've got so many meals now that I know like a good 30 <laughs> recipes on hand. We've got protein bars, beef sticks, dark chocolate, red licorice at the back, Fruit roll-ups, because I tried the roll-up and ice cream trend. Lol. I don't even like roll-ups themselves, but we'll see. Then we've got some energy drinks, some random drinks that we've got here. Down here we've got the dog food, water. In here we've got more of the cooking utensils. We've got all of our, um, I guess, full veggies and then all of our greens, veggies. And then down in the fridge we've got chocolate oat milk. It's my favorite. Goat's milk for the dogs. Almond milk, all of that, sauces, things, and that is it. So we are all good in here. And then the pantry, all of my protein stuff. Funny, it's, it's literally called my protein, but I'm obsessed with the vanilla and the chocolate. So that's all done. I've put all of the cooking stuff, some chips. These like my favorite dark chocolate coconut clusters. Um, seaweed snaps. Literally so much popcorn. I'm obsessed with popcorn. Cooking stuff, which is just for like cookies and whatnot. And then all of our spreads and then again, more cooking utensils, some of the chips and our culture supplements that we have left. So this is literally the pantry. It's so clean. I'm actually so happy. Like it makes me so happy when things are clean and organized. Good morning, guys. It is... Wednesday. I am currently in the gym. It's a rest day of working out today. I am really sore from yesterday's. The barbell lunges, like you girls' glutes, are on fire. I am about to go downstairs and just do some filming, just some workout filming stuff, instructional videos, that kind of thing. You guys have been absolutely loving them on socials lately, so your girl is keeping that up because we're trying to be consistent. And with consistency comes 
genuine people that appreciate your content, which is what I need. I'm gonna go down and film. We've already had breakfast this morning with Steve's mum and his stepdad. Absolutely loved it. They're such great people. We went to Wood Ash and Rye, had such yummy breakfast. So I'm gonna go down, I'm gonna film, I'm gonna come back up, I'm gonna work. And then Steve and I are going on a little golf date this afternoon because we've kind of felt like we get into these work modes and we don't really take time to just enjoy each other's company. So I was just talking about us. Oh, that's crazy, you never do that. I always talk about I us. I know, I was being sarcastic. Uh, I was saying we're going on a little golf date today because yes. we just need to spend some time together sometimes. sometimes. Just just my wife and me and my guy friends. Wait, what? I'm just kidding. <laughs> oh my gosh, I might heart actually just suck then. Why? That's so rude. You didn't want to go with me and my guy friends? No, I was just saying. Hey, where's that tape measure? I need it. Time breakfast. for you and me. I love that. Give me a kiss. Grab what my tape measure. What are you doing there? I have to measure with both hands and write it down. Before I invest in so freaking angry. So you know how yesterday I was telling you guys that I had like this payment that I thought was fraudulent. It wasn't fraudulent. It was just a payment that had been, I'd ordered something online and it had been split into two because they only had certain stuff in stock and certain, certain stuff not in stock. Anyway, so I've just jumped on to my email. I've got a $10,000 charge that's been tried to put through my Amex. So someone's tried doing that and then I go into my pending transactions and there is a pending transaction for $8,000 from Aquatech Plumbing Supplies. And apparently I, I purchased this yesterday, it's been approved. So I had to call up Amex and I'm like, something's happened, cancel my card, get rid of it, block it, do whatever you need to do, send me a new one. Like this has never happened to me up until I've purchased things online in America. I swear, like this place is just really testing me. I need to call Amex in two minutes and get a new card sent out to me. I'm just like stressed that they're gonna think that that was actually me spending that money. Oof, the wrists feel a little bit naughty today. I might need to go get my wrist wraps. You know, when I know my wrists aren't warmed up enough or I haven't done enough is when I literally like, my wrist is like this and I just relax it and it just flops. It's like a dead duck's neck. Oh yeah. I've actually never relaxed my feet in this position. Like I'm always pointed, like as a gymnast, it's always pointed toes. And I just relax my legs and I felt like I held it way easier than what I usually would. done with that workout. Now I have just a massive day of office work. Um, I kind of took the day off the other day after I had my therapist session and obviously cleaned up and kind of did some stuff at the house. Steve's spending a day with his family today so his mom and stepdad are still in town. So he's gonna <coughs> go hang out with them today. I just have a lot of programming stuff to do like because it's a subscription based app. I'm doing years of programming right now. I'm doing like a year in advance. So I have three programs. So I have a big meeting tomorrow about it, like to set some time dates and stuff, but I really got to get some shit going. I need to post on Instagram right now. because It's my posting day. I actually did my first mic'd up session. So go check it out if you haven't seen it already because it's really small actually. It's not even like a proper like session. I am going to get started on my day's worth of work. But yeah, I'll talk to you later. Some red dirt turning all the lights down low, taking my seat. Good morning 
everyone. It is Friday, last day of the working week. I have been kind of pushing a lot of work out this week just to relax this weekend. We're going to the Acro Festival in Vegas run by the Impact, Positive Impact Movement Boys. There's four of them. Um, but yeah, so had a pretty slow morning, came into work, had a meeting about my fitness app. I am honestly so excited for it. I've even set up the Instagram. The business is now up and running. We're doing the back end of the design process. And I'm thinking I might even start sharing this stuff on the socials when I'm ready to get going with it because I really wanted this experience. Like obviously I've been working on this for like the past year. Even though I wanted this experience to be, you know, like, hey guys, I'm coming out with something exciting and like, on the DL, I just don't really care for keeping secrets anymore. I wanna show you guys the steps that I'm going through and the struggles that I've had. And I do feel like being a lot more open with the process allows kind of for hiccups to happen and for me to not get so stressed out about it. Like we were meant to be launching earlier in the year and it's just been so long for me to get the programs going for the development to be kind of kickstarting. So, I like the fact that I can kind of up you guys, update you guys as I know, as I get the information. So yeah, we sat down today, we mapped out how all of the boards will look. I've written it up on my whiteboard um, and I really knuckled it down to what it is that I want to be that brand as a whole. I haven't even announced what it's going to be called. It is going to be a play on words in regards to some of our other brands. So I'm really excited for that. Some of our other brands being Steve's businesses that I own some of. I'm going to eat. If I'm going to train today, then I need to train. Um, I also need to find something to post. I've put so much time and effort into creating this content that is actually useful. It's not just, you know, random stuff. And it just doesn't get the interaction. It doesn't get seen by my following. It doesn't do anything of what I thought it was going to do. Like I genuinely thought people would be saving it and wanting to try it. And I just don't feel like that's the case anymore. Like Instagram has just taken a massive dive. There's no growth on the platform anymore. I don't feel like I'm reaching any new eyes as well. Like obviously as much as I want to harbor the relationship I have with the people that are following me now and make sure they're getting quality content as well as just random bits and pieces from my lifestyle. Like you guys watching the vlogs. But at the same time, I do want new people coming in and being able to look back at the you know, thousands of posts that I've done on mobility and training and workouts and all of that stuff. And it's literally just free information. Like it's information and workouts and, and supersets and videos and exercises and mobility work and all of this stuff for free, but it just doesn't feel like it's getting seen anymore. So it's kind of weird, but hopefully it kind of fixes itself up and goes back to normal because I kind of miss the old IG. I think that's why so many people went over to TikTok. Okay, let me get finished on this programming and I will talk to you guys later. In Las Vegas, baby. Las Vegas. And we are about to attend the Positive Impact Movement Festival, which is actually run by our friend James, who does a lot of acro stuff. And we are coming to visit, coming to have a play around. We'll see how this goes. I'm excited. All right, we'll see you guys in there. Steve's just so happy to be here today with me. No, just tell him you were rude. I was not rude. You were. We were literally crossing this area and Steve goes, <laughs> Steve goes, you, you need to decide whether you're turning. No, no, no. And then he goes, and I'm like, okay, you don't need to yell. And then he turns around. And then he turns around and he says, he says, I said it like this. You need to choose what way you're going. You need to choose. And then I was like, no, that's not how it went now. Anyway, we've got tickets for this thing. I've just got to put my headband on and then we will be going in very excited. Let's go. Yes. Oh, shit. Oh. 